All the AFL greats start somewhere. Normally, it's through the pathway of Auskick to local football and then to representing their state at the national championships. It's the main pathway for future AFL prospects and allows them to show off their talent to recruiters. But seeing our stars at a young age is pretty rare and it's only in recent years footage and highlights of under 18 games have been broadcasted freely. So when we see our current day players in old photos, it's fascinating, especially when a group of former under 12s has been as influential right now as we have ever seen. They are part of an unusual trend with the Victorian under 12s program. Your eyes aren't lying. Right here sit three of the game's superstars representing their Victoria under 12s team. It's the earliest start of identifying talent, but even the under 12 coach probably didn't expect three All-Australians and Best and Fairest winners to be seated right in front of him. The best thing about this photo is how much these three actually look alike to their current day selves. Christian Petrarca is one of the game's most damaging players and has overcome his first year hiccup of an ACL. A Premiership, Norm Smith medal, four All-Australian Blazers and a Best and Fairest. It's a jam-packed resume already and at just 27, it's likely to grow and if he hasn't already, he will become a Melbourne great. His teammate Clayton Oliver is a clearance and contested machine and has been a star from his second year onwards. He played with Petrarca in the 2021 Premiership win and he won that year's Best and Fairest as well as an AFL Coaches Association Champion Player Award. The cupboard is full of accolades and at 26, he has the next half of his career to go. And then sitting at the bottom is Tuuk Miller. He made his way as a ferocious tagger, but he's been released to become a ball winner. Perhaps no midfielder works both ways as hard as Miller, and he's earned huge respect in the AFL. Two best and fairest go alongside two All-Australians and a Coaches Champion Player Award. If Gold Coast won a premiership in the next five years, you'd expect Miller would be the man to help hold the cup up. But there is another star hidden. If we move up just a bit, we see the Collingwood captain Darcy Moore. It's another All-Australian and superstar that is leading his club deep into finals. These four stars are part of an age group historically that produces the top players in the competition. An article on AFL.com by Riley Beveridge highlighted the unique phenomenon of the under-12 Victorian side. If we look at the 2021 Grand Final between Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs, a remarkable nine players in that game featured for their respective under-12 team. Obviously Petrarca and Oliver were joined by Viney and Salem, while the Bulldogs themselves had McRae, Dale, Wood, Cordy and Vandermeer. But the distinctive Victorian under-12 program is still carrying on its relevance and we look no further than the 2021 AFL Draft. Eight players drafted represented the under-12s, including five of the top 14 picks in Sam Darcy, Finn Callahan, Josh Ward, Ben Hobbs and Campbell Chesser. Other players picked up include Connor McDonald, Blake Howes and Dante Vizentini. Even St Kilda Ford, Anthony Caminiti played in this same team, eventually getting picked up in the 2023 season. We have seen the in and under work of Hobbs at Essendon, while Callahan has so far been the best player at the bunch, with McDonald and Ward becoming regular features in Hawthorne's rebuild. If we backtrack two more drafts, then we see a true super team. The 2013 Under-12's Victorian team was by far the best. Picks 1 and 2 in Matt Rowe and Noah Anderson led the team that won most games by 100 points and were joined by other top 10 picks in Fisher Mackesy, Caleb Sarong and Dylan Stevens. Other players you might know in Cooper Stevens, Dylan Williams and now infamous Hawthorne tagger Finn McGuinness also featured in the team. Rail and Anderson are a one-two punch at the Suns, ready to pounce on finals, while no one in the 2023 home and away season got more of the ball than Caleb Sarong, which got him rewarded with his maiden All-Australian blazer at just 22. And we saw the job Finn McGuinness did on Nick Dacos, restricting him to a few kicks, and he did the same to GWS playmaker Josh Kelly, and seemingly out of nowhere, has become an integral part of Sam Mitchell's system at Hawthorne. It's a never-ending production line of talent that only seems to be getting better. Sure there is some bizarre coincidence about it, 
but at under 12s, it's the earliest stage of development and clearly the program is doing a lot of things well. And once again, the 2023 under 12 Victorian team went undefeated to claim another national title. So if you are in an under 12s Vic team, or know anyone in one, then in about six or seven years time, history would say there is a good shot of getting called out on AFL draft night.